There's a quote, and I'm not going to quote this correctly, but there's a video by uh, there's Steve Harvey, who's not someone I'm a huge fan of, but he has talked about this before in a video. And a lot of us are standing on that cliff. And we're standing on a cliff, and we're watching all these people soaring, all these people being amazing and doing cool jobs, having the job that they've always pursued, you know, having this crazy business, having the family and the kid and all that stuff, and watching all these people soar through life. And we're sitting on the cliff, and we want to soar as well, but we know that the soar, we have to jump off the cliff. We have to jump, and we have to hope that our parachute deploys. And, you know, as we jump, some of us might hit the rocks, some of us might get scratched up and bruised up, but eventually, if you keep going, your parachute will open. You will soar like everyone else that you watch and you ask that you try to be and things like that. Um, so, you know, if but the thing is that you can jump and you can try the soar or you can stay on the cliff. And it's safe to be on the cliff, but you have to know that if you are to stay on the cliff and watch all the people soaring, you'll never be anyone that soars. Today is January 17th, 2018. And I have officially, as of today, quit my day job as a video producer for a show called The Harbor by Jostens. And I want to talk to you guys about um, where I came from, where we're going with the channel, and then kind of leave you guys with something to think about and chew over in your own lives. Um, but the first thing I want to say is that um, I left my job. as I, I worked there for a year, and I loved my job. It was spectacular. And um, I was lucky enough to go from the West Coast to the East Coast and shoot everything and shoot a whole bunch of inspirational stories about high schoolers and things like that. And if you don't know what The Harbor by Jostens is, it's a show that's dedicated to high schoolers to help them find their purpose in life or challenge the way they're thinking or challenge the way society expects them to be and become something amazing and follow their passion and be someone greater. And you know, that's something I've always, the message I've always wanted to tell people, it's something I've worked on for, for years and it's, it's really cool. Um, but you know, about two or three months ago, I started sitting down and thinking to myself, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Do I want to be this person and make this stuff for the rest of my life? And the answer is kind of a yes and a no. And so I started looking, to, I sat down and looked at my life objectively and thought, I have this YouTube channel that's really cool and I have a whole bunch of followers and it's my three passions without a doubt are cars, inspiring people, and cameras. And the YouTube channel was the cars and the cameras part and then my job was the inspiring people and the cameras part. So I felt like the entire time that I've been living life for the past year that I've only been fulfilling myself two-thirds of the way. I've never gone the full way of fulfillment. I've never felt fully enlightened in what I was doing in my life. I did enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I love what I was doing. I was super, super lucky to get to do what I wanted to do. That being said, I never felt like I could put my full heart behind everything I was doing no matter what. Um, so luckily I now have the opportunity to do all three of those things at one time and I'm going to be moving from Lincoln, Nebraska to Tulsa, Oklahoma in the next week to start running another YouTube channel called Humble Performance which is going to be dedicated to Hondas and inspiring people and I get to use my cool cameras and go from there. Now with the new channel it doesn't mean that this channel is disappearing at all. This channel is going to be my personal channel. I'm still working under someone at Humble so it's it's going to be their own messaging and then this channel is going to be my own messaging. Um, I'm going to be teaming up with a friend of mine in Oklahoma we're making some cool content. I've got a lot of great ideas, um, and I'm going to be pitching some of them to you guys soon, and that'll be for another video, but I just wanted to talk about my life so far, but the new, this channel, don't worry, this channel's not going anywhere. We're doing a lot of cool stuff, and I think you guys are going to be really happy, because we are bringing back rotary stuff. Um, we are going to be diversifying our car cast, as I've said earlier, um, but I think it's going to be all for the better, because I don't want to be that one trick pony. I don't want to be that person that's that's in this corner of, of car reviews or this person's in this corner of I'm going to build cars in my garage. I feel like if you look at YouTube and the landscape of, of car culture on YouTube, it's purely a contest to see who can build the craziest car and who can go the fastest. If you don't have a thousand horsepower car on the highway, you're slow. If you don't have a four rotor that's all wheel drive or whatever, you're not even building a real rotary car. Like stuff like that, like I don't know. I want to be the, the common man, if that makes sense. I have no desire to be crazy with my cars. I just build like cool cars. I build what I want to build. Um, and that's not knocking the people that are doing the crazy stuff. Like, that's cool. But I, I feel like there's this, there's a stigma in the actual YouTube car community where it's just like, you have to have this crazy car. That's why it's, I, I'm not going to get into that, that whole thing. But basically, we're going to be making a whole bunch of cool content. And I think the goal, our shift for this channel is going to be making meaningful content. Not necessarily... Oh yeah, I'm just uh, hanging out my house today, hanging out with friends and doing whatever. I want to make something that inspires people to be greater. To they look at the car and go, oh, that's really cool. That makes them ask questions about what they can do with their build. Or, you know, we look at 
makes them question their 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 ideas and what they think about how cars work and things like that. So I think we have a whole bunch of cool ideas to do it. Um, I'm gonna be teaming up with my buddy, like I said. We're gonna be hopefully bringing you guys some really cool stuff. With Humble, I'm gonna be working more on specifically inspirational and Honda and, and but basically kind of what Rotors was, but with Hondas. So we'll be going with that. So if you guys wanna follow Honda content, check out Humble Performance on YouTube. But if you want to stay here, that's cool too. If you don't like the direction we're going, feel free to tell me. I don't care. I'm not going to be upset if you guys leave. Because if we're doing a bad job, we need to know. Um, I know a lot of you guys want to see more rotary content, and that's coming. Um, but it's going to be, it's probably like 30 to 50 percent of what we're doing, and then the rest is going to be kind of, kind of the more new, the new content. Which I think if you guys stick around, you're going to appreciate it. Now I'm done talking about YouTube stuff. Um, I just want to leave you guys with this because I don't want this video to be super long. And that is. If you're sitting on the fence about doing something or you have a passion you've always wanted to pursue but you haven't, um, there's no reason not to take steps to do it. There's, there's none whatsoever. Um, this situation that I'm going through currently has been about two years in the making. Um, I've been taking my steps to get where I wanted to go. I said I want to be a YouTube creator full time by 2019. That was my goal. We're going 2018. I'm going full time this year and the next week. Um, so it happened faster than I thought it would. But that being said, it wasn't because I just quit my job and jumped out of the plane and went whatever and tried to do whatever. I, I got to a point where I felt comfortable enough, not necessarily comfortable enough, because it's still this. This is without a doubt the scariest decision I've ever made in my entire life. Um, but I got to a point where it's just like I felt like there was no other answer. If that makes sense, I got to the point where it's like if I don't do this now, there's no reason to even keep considering it. Um, so. I mean, if you're one of those people that, that you want to, you know, make films, or if you want to make music, or if you want to make art full time, or if you want to do whatever you want to do passionately full time, or if you have a business idea, like, there's no reason not to even try to pursue. Like, basically, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. I've been working at least 110, 120 hours a week every week for the past two and a half years, and that is making YouTube content, working my job full time, running a wedding video business, helping out with the shop, running sales for another company. Like I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm only 25 years old. I've been doing since I was 23, nonstop on the grind. A lot of people will come up with excuses as to why they don't have what they have. Like the funniest one to me is like whenever you have a car, people go, well, not everyone's mom and dad can buy them stuff. It's like you don't know how hard I've worked to get where I've gotten to. And a lot of people will find, oh, haters will find excuses. People find excuses as to why they don't have what they have. And that's how it is all the time. And they'll look at the haves and the have-nots, and the have-nots will always complain about the haves, and the haves will always bitch about the have-nots not having anything. And that's just how it's gonna be with life. But I prefer to be a have rather than a have-not. And you know, basically the way I look at it is, if you don't, I don't wanna be the person that looks at my life 15 years from now and say, I wish that I would've given that shot. I wish I would've tried my hardest 15 years ago and try to get away with it. Like I look at baseball. I played college baseball for four years. I I don't regret playing baseball. I don't want to like. But I know a lot of my friends look back and go, "Well, if I would have been in the weight room, you know, like for an extra two hours every day, or if I would have thrown like an extra two pins a week, or if I would have done this, I could have been professional." I refuse to be the person that's like that. Everything I do, I do 150% hard, no matter what. I work a million hours a week. I try to do what I want to do because I'm passionate about what I want to do, and that's. How it is so like I said if you're on if you're on the edge if you're thinking about it if you're on that cliff watching people soar there's no reason not to jump and I hope that you guys take this as inspiration to, to look at where you guys can improve in your lives and find what you want to do and hopefully this channel will make you guys get inspired to do whatever you want to do and um, yeah if you guys want if you guys want any advice or anything like that you guys can drop me a line at any time I'll throw my email in the in the in the, the description down below I'm always in the comments always commenting um, also, if you guys want to talk to me more directly, we have a Discord. Um, I'll put that in links down below as well. If you join the Discord, I'm usually on there every day playing video games. So hit me up there. Um, I hope you guys are going to love where the channel is going. I want to thank you guys so much for getting where we are because we started this year. Got a whole bunch, well, we started last year technically now and got a whole bunch, whole bunch more artists than I thought we would. And uh, I, this is going to be our year. 2018 is going to be our year. 2019 is going to be a huge success as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, talk to you guys later.